Hey guys, I'm Miss Dotson, and today is Worksheet Wednesday, Star Wars. Okay, so kindergarten through second grade, you'll be doing the Star Wars Listening Glyph Worksheet that is in your music packet. And third through sixth grade, you are doing the Star Wars Color by Note Worksheet that you will need to print, and I've attached the link there. If you want to do um, both worksheets, you can do that. You just need to print those um, third through six. You'll need to print both of them if you want to do both of them. Okay, so I'm going to start with the kindergarten through second grade listening glyph. I have attached the link for you to listen to the song, the Star Wars main theme. As you listen, you will color your worksheet for what you hear. So the hair on Princess Leia there, if you hear many instruments, you're going to color her hair dark brown. If you only hear one to three instruments, you're going to color her hair orange. Okay, the blaster that she's got right here. If you hear singers, you're going to color it blue. If you don't hear singers, you're going to color the blaster purple. Okay, the top of R2-D2 right here. If you hear string instruments, you're going to color it blue. If you hear no in string instruments, you're going to color the top of R2-D2 red. The floor, so the floor back here, if you hear staccato, remember we learned about staccato is short and separated, you're going to color the floor dark blue. If you hear legato, and we talked about legato means smooth and connected, you're going to color the floor gray. Okay, Princess Leia's skin, you're going to, if you hear a steady beat, you're going to color it pink. If you hear no beats, you're going to color her skin blue. Her belt, if you think it's mostly loud, you're going to color it purple. If you think it's mostly soft, you're going to color it yellow. And lastly, her boots, if you think the music is fast, you're going to color them brown. Medium, you're going to color them black. And if you think the music is slow, you're going to color them purple. Kane, if you want to send me a picture of your completed work, that would be awesome. All right, now on to the third through sixth grade worksheet. So you'll be coloring by note. So what you need to do is go to the bottom and figure out the names of each of these notes. Okay, and then you will color each space with that letter in it. Okay, so last week we talked a little bit about the treble clef. And I've got that same little board here so this is the treble clef and the music staff has five lines one two three four five and four spaces one two three four the line notes are every good boy does fine and the space notes are f a c e okay so um we have some notes that are below the staff down here last week we started with c c is crazy cat walks on the clothesline D is dumb dog hits his hand on the ceiling. E is on the first line. F is on the first space. And G is on the second line. So we do have a new one down here. This one is actually, so we call these lines below the staff or sometimes they're above the staff. We call them ledger lines because they extend the staff with more lines. So this one hangs below that line that C is on, and it's the letter that comes before C in the alphabet, which is B. So if you see that note, it's going to be the note B. Okay, if you have your worksheet from last week, the color of that note, you can use these as a reference guide. It's the only one that's not on there is the note B, so you'll have to process of elimination for that one okay so once you figure those out the names of the notes will tell you which color to color each note and that's the space you will color that space that color okay and again if you want to send me a picture of your completed work I would love to see what you did you can listen to the Star Wars song as you color this um, if you want to okay guys I can't wait to see your work bye have a good day